Must I do everything for you? What is this? Put your hand. Put your hand. Put your hand. Look at the way you're dangling. Set a place. Don't let me kill myself. Now look at your pot's belly. You are still adding weight. Waity! Ah! So much weight. Mom, if you do not want to do it, can you please stop? Now, what is that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> now you want to tell me I don't know what I'm doing again or what? Obviously. So what's with the perfume, Mom? Why are you using body spray on Dad? No, what do you that? mean by that? You are spraying that because you know that this room ooze. That is what you're doing. Walking in here, I could perceive the odor that is oozing out of that room. What is wrong with you? I beg your pardon. Don't beg me not to. Order, shut up! You that is so good. You left your husband's house to lecture your mother on how to take care of my husband. I can tell that you have never been taking care of that the way you should. You left your husband's house. You came to my husband's room to tell me what to do and what not to do. That is because you do not know your job as a good wife. Since you're a good wife, now that you're here, why don't you pick up broom, pick up mobbing stick, sweep your father's room, if you're a good wife. Since you're better than your mother. I am ashamed to be called your daughter. Nonsense, girl. And even the little that you're doing, you're doing it because you know that brother Mecca is coming, right? You mind the way you talk to me. Slap me, mom, if you want, but I will speak mind. the truth. You mind the way you talk to me. All right? If I discuss you, then do not come here anymore. Now, I will come. This is my father's house. Then you mind your words. I don't come to your husband's house. To insult you! I take One more my insult! Husband. One more insult! And you, I will deal with you. I'm not deal kidding. with me, Mom. I'm not kidding. I don't mind if Please you're married, I will alone. deal with you. Leave him alone. Now get out. That's my husband. What have you done to this man? This is not my father I used to know. What have you done to him? So this man have been sick all this while. I never care to tell anyone, even none of the relatives. 
You just kept him here. Why? Now what sort of question is that? You wanted to see your father now that you've seen him. Why are you asking me this question? Watch your mouth. How do you expect him to talk in this condition? He can't even recognize me. Now first, you reported me to police people knowing full well that I've got phobia for police. You told them that I refused you from seeing your father. Okay, now that you've seen him, look at him. How can a dying man like this recognize you? How can he talk? He called my father a sick, dying man? Eh? Anti-Christiana. Oh, officers, did, did you just hear that? She called my father a sick, dying man. Anti-Christiana. Mother, I'm putting it to you. That you wash your tongue. Hers, you will be arrested and locked up. Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, Chairman. He didn't recognize you. That's because you're not his biological son, so keep going. Sorry, officer. Officer, please, it has not gotten to that. Brother, I make I understand your anger. But please, you just have to calm down. When I came here yesterday, I met father like this, and that broke me into pieces. I wanted to rush him to the hospital, but I was told you'd be coming today. That's the reason I didn't do it. Just look at how my father is looking, and they didn't even call anybody. Nobody said anything to us. Nobody said anything. Mom! You can't even recognize me. Oh eh? That's because you're not his son. That's why he can't recognize you. Your face is not good. Why do you look worried? Were you able to see your father? If you see his condition, you will cry. Cry? Why? Did he tell you something? Did he say tell me anything? Mm -hmm. He didn't even notice my presence. He's just upset my dad. He's lost in thought. What? To that extent? Yeah. So where is he now? We rushed him to the hospital. Alright, that, 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 that's good. So has the doctor said anything? Doctor has not said anything yet. Until the lab test result comes out by tomorrow then. He will tell us what is wrong with him. Okay. You see, Christy. Christy is evil and wicked. And if anything happens to my father, I will show her the stuff I'm made of. What hap if anything happens to my father, she will not leave to confess it. Honey, don't say that. Don't talk like that. You know I hate it when you speak this way. Look, nothing will happen to your father. Your dad will be okay. Alright? Nothing will happen to him. Mr. Emeka, I can't find any particular thing that is wrong in this result. Though I see an elevated delum level in the urine, which confirms the diagnosis of poison. Yes, poison. He has been taking either overdose of drug or food that are enriched in daily, but I cannot detect any medical history in his system that requires such amount of telum ingestion. Why didn't you bring him into the hospital when all this started? Uh, doctor, it's a long story. And meanwhile, I don't understand you. Someone taking hard drugs? without being sick. How is it possible? Because I know my father doesn't drink nor smoke. So how did drugs enter 
into his bloodstream? Or could it be poison? Because I don't trust his wife. I wouldn't know for now. More tests will be carried out to give some more time. So I will suggest you give me some more time to carry out some tests. It's not what I will rush to do. So what do I do now? I will carry out some tests. So please be, be patient. But to please do whatever you can do to save my father's life. Please. Just relax. Oh. Brother, what did the doctor say is wrong with that? What did he say? The doctor couldn't find anything in that spelling from the lab test result. He only said that he found out that he has been taking some hard drugs what? that overdose his system. What? What do you mean hard drugs? What? Where is that from? Hard drugs? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I am confused. So, what's the solution? Jay, please wait. I am confused. What exactly did the doctor say is wrong with him? That is the reason he's been taking these hard drugs. Anyway, the doctor said that he's going to give him some drugs that will subside uh, whatever that is in his system. Okay, and uh, also run some tests on him to know the kind of sickness in his body. This is really serious. Very serious. <laughs> I am trying so hard to be civil with you, Mom. And I am going to repeat myself one more time. I believe you heard what the doctor told us. What do you know about it? What kind of hard drugs have you been administering to my father? What type of sickness is it? And why did you vehemently refuse to take him to the hospital? When, mom, when did you become a medical doctor that you now administer medications to patients? It's a question for me. Hold on, let me get it straight. Is it me you're talking to in such manner? Are you mad? I mean, have you gone bonkers? No, mom. I am not, but I'm almost losing it. And if you look around, you will see that it's just both of us that are here. No other person. So that question is for you. No, you're not almost losing it, young lady. You have lost it already. Now let me warn you. Today will be the first and last. You will raise your voice at me. I, the day you will try it again. I will tell you that day that I gave back to you before pushing you out. I was a labor for five good hours. I'm warning you, be very careful with me, Ada. so well mom because if my father goes down I will make sure you go down too she's an evil woman ready to fight anybody that crosses her lane she's an evil woman she's ready to fight ready to fight Mama, why is your heart full of wickedness? Mama, why are you like this? Oh, Mama, you can't rock it, you remember. You on your job. Be for a gaso. Mama, your character is bad. And let leave. You said no. You said no. Ada, please, it's okay. Stop crying. Your father will be fine. Please. 
It's okay. Ada, why are you crying? Vincent, what is it? Christy, I'm just coming from inside. And my brother is still in a critical condition. Oh, I thought he's dead. Oh. Let me tell you something. That man lying inside there is a liar. And should anything happen to him, Christy, you will regret ever stepping your feet in our family. It's not a threat. It is a problem. Vincent, what's the meaning of this? Look at you talking to me. White rabbit. I don't blame you. Rubbish. And you? Why are you crying like your father is dead? Hmm? I'm asking you, Ada. Why are you crying? Oh yeah, let's go and see your father. Follow me. I'm talking to you. Let's go and see him. That is what I'm coming for. Rubbish game. Sorry, we uh, we we tried our best to revive him, but as it were, we lost him. Sorry, sorry. A good man is gone. A good man is gone. That's a no need for you to be sorry. I'm sure that's how God wants it. You know, God wants a good man to die and go to heaven. He doesn't want him to keep bothering us. Sorry? He doesn't want a good man to suffer. Don't follow. Never mind, daughter. Father is dead. What? Come on, you're joking. I, I just told you I'll be right back and I'm not joking. Your father is dead, Ada. Your father is dead. My father is what? Jupiter, talk to me. He's dead. Your father is dead, Ada. Now, what are you talking about? What am I doing to ask me that, Mom? Now, what is this? What is what? I what said. What are you talking about? Are you happy now? Now, no. come on, will you shut are up? No, I said, keep quiet. How say you accuse me of killing your dad, Jovita? One other. Let her not accuse me. You killed my father. Why are you accusing me, Ada? Will you keep quiet? I will not. I said keep quiet. I said I will not. I said keep quiet. I'm your mother. What has come over you? One other. One other. One who? Let me go. Who should they want? Me or someone else? Now you listen to me, mom. I am a product of your loin. A snake can never give birth to a goat. I will stand with you toe to toe and I will deal with you fruitlessly.
Come on, will you get out? I said, get out! So, Emeka, what you are trying to tell me now is that after the test conducted on your father, say, so doctor found nothing. Uncle, nothing. I, I, I am just confused and don't even know what to do. I am suspecting something. Something like what? That your father's sickness is spiritual. I think we have to say Zedibia. I'm sure he knows what to do. As a Zedibia? You, uh, you mean uh, 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 native doctor? Yes. Yes. I'm sure he knows, he knows what to do. Okay, hold on, my wife is calling. Hello? Yes, dear, how are you? Why are you sounding like that? What? Now, what happened? When? How? Okay, okay, please calm down, okay? Calm down and stop crying, please. What is it? My wife just called to tell me that my father is dead. What? Uncle, hold on, let me call her first because I don't my think... My brother Chief think, Wesley is dead. I don't think my wife knows what she's talking about. Hello, Ada? Ada, you're crying. So this is true. What did she say? Is it true? Ha! Ah! Oh, she said that. Oh, my God, I will say. Dead. Mom. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand that she wants us to bury dad here in Lagos. Why? Chuka, is there anything wrong with burying your father here in Lagos? I'm asking you, I mean, why are your children acting like this? Hmm? Mom, dad has relatives. Kingsmen. And he's no small person in that community. He's very big. Burying him here in Lagos will, 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 will create problems for us. They will ask questions. What would they say when they hear about it? Now, which relatives and kinsmen are you talking about? I'm asking you. The ones that killed your father what? Besides, when my husband was alive, he was not in the same class with these people you're talking about. So leave it. I want to obey my husband's last wish. When your father was alive, he told me, once he's dead, that I should bury him here in Lagos. And that is exactly what I'm going to do because I'm a good wife. So leave it at that. Mom, hmm? I think Chuka is right. Okay? Don't forget we're not in good times with a maker. He will always relate with my brothers and uncles in the village to fall back at us. Please, try to understand that. So what if a Mecca supports the king's men to do the right thing? So what I am asking you, Obina? I am confused because I don't even understand what we are discussing here. Mommy, do you realize that we just lost my father, our father, your husband, and you're already planning to bury him here in Lagos? What's, what manner of madness is this? And you, Chuka, you're not even saying anything to that. The so-called first son of the family. You cannot even talk to mommy. You cannot, you cannot even tell her that this is wrong. But I was trying. You were trying to what? You were trying to what? Is this how a, a full grown man behaves? No, you tell me. What were you trying to do? To also weigh in your support? Is this how a grown ass man behaves? You're trying to. Aren't you supposed to call and call them? Are they even aware that that is dead? What, what, what are we even talking about? Like he's making me go insane. What is all this? 
Are they not supposed to be here since yesterday? Did you call them? I did. You, you did not. You did not. Are they spirits to know that your father is there? Aren't you supposed to call them? No. It's time for you to execute or carry out your, your, your duty as the first son of the family. You wouldn't do it. Why? Because you want Ada to do it. Ada will do everything for you. But when it's time for you to carry shoulder high and tell me you will slap me because you're the first son of the family, that is when you realize that you're my elder brother. Aren't you supposed to call them? Uncle Vincent and Uncle Nayalu lives here in this Lagos with us. Yet, they are not even aware that dad is there. What is this? Are they not supposed to be part of this meeting? What manner of sons are you? And you, you can't even say anything. You are just so dumb. Hey, hey, hey. Fools. Do not insult me. Don't you dare. If you try that next time, I will remove your teeth. Don't I you promise dare. you, mom. Warn your daughter. Shut up and get out of Warn her house. right You're now. Less of a man. Because I will remove her teeth for if her. If there are men, you will come out. Enough. Get out! Enough! Now what is all this? Why are you talking like this? Why are you behaving like this? When you give birth and your daughter stands in front of you to speak this, no matter how bad you are, you think it's good. Keep quiet and allow me to think. Christy, our brother Wilson is dead, and you didn't tell us. If not, that we went to the hospital and the doctor told us, we wouldn't have known. Christy! Hey! Now, why are you shouting my name like that? Christy! Like what? Are you my husband? Are you my boyfriend or what? Oh, fine. My husband died, and the doctor told you. So, what is wrong with that? You will die someday. He will die someday. I will die someday. It's your brother's yes. turn to die soon. Christy, are you this heartless? What do you mean by You mean you didn't see anything wrong with what you, you did? That our brother died and you didn't see anything wrong with that? Am I the one that killed your brother? Ada, you didn't call us to tell us that your father is dead. Why? What happened? Uncle, you know the custom and tradition of our land. As a woman, I am not supposed to announce my father's death to you people. I pleaded with my siblings to do that. But of course, because my mommy here said they shouldn't. Hence the reason they refused. And to top it, in fact, the truth is that my mommy is the problem. You of all people know that whatever my mommy says, that is what they do. Uncle, tragedy is about to befall our household because my mommy here is planning with my siblings to bury my father here in Lagos. What? Christy! You will go to hellfire. I'm telling you. You're planning to bury our brother here, Wilson in Lagos, without our consent. Now listen to me, woman. Try that and see what will happen to you. Brother? What will you do? Hey, brother, I'm out of this place. Just try it! What will you do? Try it, Christy! What will you do? Hey. Hey. Get her away! Madman! And you? May God forgive you. Lying against your mother. Always opening your mouth to talk cha 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 against your mom all the time. Rubbish. I understand. But that won't be possible. Uncle, tell her. Tell her because I know. In fact, I am glad you know it will not be possible. So make it sink into her head. But I'll tell you what to do. Uncle Nayaro, now what are we going to do? Please, I need your help. I need you to help me. I need to bury my husband here in Lagos. Okay, uh, why not fix the, the burial date immediately so that you can, you know... Um, hold on, Uncle. I am trying to... Okay. Are you supporting my mother? Hold on. Are you supporting my mother to bury my father here in Lagos? We are talking about your blood brother, Chief Sir Wilson, my own father, to be buried here in Lagos. Listen to me, both of you. Before you bury my father here, you will have to kill and bury me first because it will be over my dead body that I will let you do that. I might be small. I might be a child to both of you, but I will fight you with everything I've got to make sure that that will never happen. What will you fight? What will you fight? I'll fight you. Why are you talking about burying my father here? 
I left. You say you'll fight me one more time. I'll beat Lydia, you. Lydia, no. I got. Please, stop. I will stop, beat you. Stop, stop going back to the village. Eh? What do you do? One more word now. No, stay there. Why are you running? I am not running from you. I am running I'm from going to you. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to beat you here. I'll break your head. Look at this idiot. You're talking to your uncle like that. Rubbish idiot. Try it now. What have I done wrong? You have not done anything wrong. You have not. Emeka, I don't understand you. You mean that our brother, Chief Wilson, died since two days ago. The wife and the children did not care to call to tell you. Even with the kinsmen, nobody bothered telling us. And they, they are planning to bury him there in Lagos. According to Vincent, as he told you. Why? What for? And who does that, my people? Um, I'm even surprised that um, Uncle Vincent called me. He called me and uh, told me that even Uncle Nanyelo was aware of that because they gave him some money to support them. And they planned it together. And I'm sure, very sure, that they will not try it. This is indeed an abomination. Uh, now, what do we do? Ichi Odika, that bella will not work as long as I'm seeing a member of the Baka family. Point blank. That bella will not work. Yes. How can they bury a man, a whole chief, wasting? In Lagos. Oh! Haha. <laughs> it will never work. If Christian and her children try that, eh, this whole village will shake. That's all. That's it. Mm -hmm. What kind of rubbish is that? That Christian must be very mad. Honestly. Kevin ke ding bang ho tua gigi no no no. E wa mo na bu. Ane mi ane. Ask me. It's not possible. Um, Emeka. You have to plan on how to bury your father and call with the king's men and tell us. Eh? Now that your father is dead, you see that family? You are in charge. Whatever you decide in that family goes. Are you hearing me? So, plan on when and how to bury your father. Yes. Eh? Just uh, arrange on how to bury your father. The maker has connived the kids' men to come to Lagos to carry Wilson's cup. For burial. So you, you have to hurry up to, to bury your husband before they come. No, 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 no. No. Thank you. Nairo, thank you for the information. Please, eh? Why don't you go rally round now and get the boys that will dig the grave? Yeah. I think you know what to do. Relax about this place. I can handle it. Just go and come back oh. immediately. Okay, okay. Please, eh? You know what to do. She's an evil woman, ready to fight anybody that crosses her lane. Now, what in the world are you She's doing here again? I'm asking you. You have no right to ask me what I'm doing in my father's house. This is my father's house, and you have no right to ask me that rubbish question. Yes! What kind of question is that? Anyway, that's by the way. My father died, and no one cares to tell me or any of the king's men. What's going on? Okay, let's just take it has happened. Fine. Which mortuary did you deposit my father's corpse? I want to see it. Don't even pretend as if you care. Dad has been sick in the hospital and you never, ever bother to come check on him. And now you're here telling us you want to see his corpse. You were busy traveling to the village. You never care. My friend, it's already too late, okay? Is late. It is not late. We're all aware that the doctor said we couldn't find anything in our father's lab test result. The sickness was spiritual. That was what he said. So I went to the village to meet with Uncle Madoka for him to help us find a solution to our father's sickness. If you care to know, that was where I went to. I went to the village. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing? 
course, that's a perfect story. I mean, you should consider, you know, making a living out of these stories. But if you must know, the fact remains that our father is dead and buried. My father? Dead? Yes. And buried here in Lagos? Uncle, did you hear that? That they buried daddy here in Lagos? Did you, did, did you just say that? Emeka, keep quiet! You've been making noise and I've been watching you. Now that you've known, we have buried my husband. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Now, get out. You can't push me away. This is my father's house. Uncle, are you not saying anything? Um, Emeka, you, you have to calm down. We'll, we'll do something about it. Uncle, which one is calm down now? What is calm down? I, I'm not calming down anything. I'm not hearing what they're saying here. Oh. I know that mood. I know that reaction. Uncle, they've bribed you. You've collected money from them. You connived with them and buried my father here in Lagos. Uncle, give one. Oye Nemeba, you and Auntie Chrissy and the children, you guys buried my father here in Lagos. Emeka, what's, what, what's the meaning of that? Now get out. I said get away. You have no right to take me out of my father's house. This is my father's house. Uncle, are you not saying anything? Yeah. You guys buried my father here in Lagos. Eh, hey. okay. Thank God. You will hear from me. That's enough. You get will up. hear from me. You can't push me out. This and is my father's house. Get out. This is my father's house. And you don't point at my mom. You dare it, I'll push you out. I am old. And I am old enough to be your mom. If you took that Duka Duka one more time, Excuse and me. that will slap out the living daylight out you of your eyes. Me. All of you hear from me. Just, just watch. Ekalino. Abike. Don't mind it. Rubbish. There's a big problem. There's a big problem. Nayelo, calm down. What do we do? Uncle Nayelo, please. When you start shaking like this, do you want me to collapse? What is all this? What do you want? Tell me. Tell me, should I give you more money so that you can go to the village and make those elders too close? They're smelling out. Tell me. Tell me, please. There's, there's, there's problem. There's problem? Huh? Yes, Uncle, there's a big problem. I went to my father's house and I saw all of them there. I told them to take me to... To, to see my father's corpse. I asked them to take me to the mortuary where they kept my father's body. They told me that they've buried my father. It's okay. It's okay, Uncle. I, I will be coming very soon. Um, honey, wait. All, all what you said, is it a joke? It's not a joke. Chrissy and her children, including Nailu, buried my father here what? in Lagos. What? Why would they do a thing oh. like that? I don't know. No, 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 no. Honey, are you going to keep quiet over this? I am not going to keep quiet about this. I will see to it. In fact, I will be traveling very soon. This is, this is unacceptable. You will hear from me. No, 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 no. They went too far. Honey, they went too far. I can't believe this. I am talking to you, Chris. I'm listening. Do you realize what you and your children do is an abomination? Do you? I mean, Ada told me everything how you connived and locked her inside one of the rooms and seized her phone. Just as because you wanted to achieve your evil goals and plans? Are you done talking? My daughter told you that we locked her up. You. Well, I don't understand what you're talking about. Now, let me ask you a question. I buried my husband in Lagos. That's because he was a wealthy man. He deserves to be buried in Lagos. I mean, how do you imagine that I should bring my husband's body to, to what? To oh, who's excuse me, I'm Chris, still talking. I don't understand. When has bearing my husband and leg has become an abomination? Can you even hear yourself? So on whose permission, Christy? I mean, are you the one to tell us where to bury our brother? Are you? Now are you the one to tell me where to bury my husband? He was my husband. Listen to me. 
You can't just bury him like that. I mean, there are people that own him. Now listen to me. Myself and the entire kinsmen are giving you one week to bring back our brother corpse back home. And failure to do so. Take whatever you see, Chris. I will see nothing. Really? Of course, you are not going to do anything. And you know that. Really? Of course. I buried my late husband the way I want. May oh. his soul rest in peace. I buried him the way I wanted. And you will not do anything about it. I will see nothing. You won't do nothing. Mommy, can you even listen to yourself? Can you hear yourself talk? Sometimes I wish you can just be calm and hear someone else speak to you. Would you respect mommy? Oh, there is nothing like due respect. You do not have respect for your mother. So go ahead, feed me with insults. You and I know you cannot blackmail me emotionally like that. You know me too well. Mommy, I want you. I want you when you were planning this evil with Obina, Chuka and Uncle Nanyalo. Did I not? Well, you people never listened to me. You took it that Ada was talking trash. You took it that Ada is just a little girl who knows nothing. Look at the outcome now. Uncle, I am and I will forever remain the only daughter of my late father. I am telling you here and now in the presence of my mom, that should my mom fail to comply to any condition that you people must have given to her, please take whatever action you deem fit against her, for I will stand solidly behind you. My father's body must be assumed and be given a proper funeral in his hometown. Hi. That is my stand. Listen to me, Christy. You heard what I said. One week, Christy. Emeka, let's leave this. Oga, okay, get out. So. Ah! I'll give you one. You what? What now? What you? What? Auntie Christiana. One week. Anya frozen pine. Hmm. What's that? Seven days, I mean. Christy. Yeah. Idiot. Useless. Useless. Idiot. And you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Reporting your mother. You should be ashamed of yourself. I have buried my husband. May his soul rest in peace. Oh my goodness. Stupid idiot. Not a girl. I regret having a dark child. Mom, you look so much I... like your father. Daniel, uh, you ask us to assemble here that we have something to tell us. So what is it? Talk to us. Though I know that some elders are still on their way coming. Munakwen, uh -huh. I asked for your presence because of what happened. Our wife went ahead to bury our dear brother, Chief Wilson, without the consent of your mourners. And I know this has really angered the Umuna so much. Uh, please, it's, it's a mistake. And uh, the woman is really unhappy that she made the Umunas unhappy for her action. And that's why she sent me to come and apologize on her behalf. Um, she did not just uh, ask for forgiveness. She accompanied it with uh, some plenty money to be given to each of you so that um, you know, you will be at peace with her. Um, hey, 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 keep that money. Keep that money. Yeah, Nanya, do you know you are very stupid? You are very, very stupid. Even though that you are, you are, you are mature, I would have used this thing to break your head. Are you stupid? 
Oh, you connived with Christy and her children and buried our brother in Lagos. And you are here talking nonsense. Oh, she gave you money to come and bribe us to cover up the abomination you people committed in, in Lagos. Eh, Nigel? Wait, wait. Oh, let me, it's okay. Let me talk to you. Okay. Uh, Nigel, I want to ask you something. Hi. When Christy and her children wanted to bury our late brother, Chief Wilson, in Lagos, without the consent of the, the, the homeowners, what did you tell her? No, tell me, because that thing she went to do is an abomination. So what did you tell her? Tell us. Um, I I... I'm, I must be frank with you. I did not tell her anything. You see your life. But if I had told her, she would not. She would not have listened. You see your life. You didn't tell her anything because you knew that yes, she will give you some money, and with that money you will come and settle your kinsman. You agreed over it, isn't it? And that's the money she came. He, that money he came with. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Idiot. Nayelo. Do you know that you are a bundle of disappointments? Right. Yes. The confidence we have in you, you have automatically betrayed it. Bitter. Instead of you to represent us there, you went there and messed yourself up. Buried our brother, a whole chief wasted. Uh, you buried how, him in Lagos. How dare you uh, allow yourself to be lured into succumbing to the activities of that woman? She sent me a message to you. And I'm delivering it. Please, let, let by God be by God. Do, 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 do you know the consequences of what you have just done? Do you know that you are a fool? Hmm? In fact, why, why am I collecting, collecting money from her? I will tell you why they are the evil, evil act. Do you know that? Yeah. Forgive her. Do, 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 you know know that, do you know that you are a fool? Yeah. Because she gave you money. You wait, supported wait. her in that evil act, isn't it? Okute. Okute. Hey. With the elders, the kids when we are here. Yes. Come with the youth. Better. Come, come with the youth. You want to tell me? Those fools that call themselves Somona hired youths to do this to you. Yeah, they almost killed me. They almost killed me. I had to escape. They almost killed me. You don't need to tell me. I'm seeing it for myself. They almost killed you indeed. Look at you looking like a piece of trash. Huh. It's unacceptable to me. I think I have to involve the police to arrest them. Huh? No, no, no. The Munas, if we arrest them, it will look like we, we arrested the whole community. Even the Igwe, they will come at us. Let's look for another solution. Solution? Now, what other solution are you talking about? They have given us seven days to bring back the corpse of your husband back to the village. I warned you. I warned you. Well, that's not my business. After all, I'm not from this community. The most important thing is that I have buried my husband. No. It's when the calamities start to befall us, then you will know that you are involved. It's, we shouldn't play with it. Okay, fine. Tell me, what do we do now? Please. What do we do? I'm sorry. You're in pain, sorry. We will have to go and resume his body from the grave. Assume what? We will have to resume his body from the grave. But you know it's not possible. A man I buried weeks ago. I should go and assume his body. No, come on now, come on. Okay, I will, I will, I will go, go somewhere and look for a solution.
Buried my body in this city and not in my village. Why? You collected bribe from this woman. Buried my body in a strange land. <sighs> Bodies, you will remain like this for the rest of your life. I have six days to take my body to my village. I want to rest among my people. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. 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 Halachuka, can you hear me? Yes. I, I want to see you tomorrow, please. It's very important. Yes, dear, that's what I'm talking about. I want you to come tomorrow. Can you listen to me? It is not what I would discuss on the phone. I just want to see you tomorrow. Come, it's very important. All right, I've heard you. All right, all right, all right, it's okay, I've heard you. Hey, baby. You're supposed to be resting in the land of the dead. How can I rest? The place you have Laid my body is not my place. Take me home. Let me rest among my people. No, no, no. How can I take you home? Which body will I take home? You're a ghost already. No, no. Let me go. Making sense at all. I mean, this is strange. Mom, how could you say that? <clears throat> Dad, a dead man, dead and buried, will reappear in real time and torment you, flogging you, asking you to confess. Confess what? I mean, I've never seen nor heard anything like this before. This is crazy now. Sugar. What exactly are you talking about? Are you trying to say that mom doesn't know what she saw? Obina, isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? No, 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 it's not. You can feel it from her body. Hey, but mom needs medical attention and not, you know, you know malaria now. Malaria can come in different ways. Can make you hallucinate or, you know, we, she just needs our family doctor to come and check up on her. That's all. Which one is ghost here, ghost there, ghost there? I beg, I beg. This is not Nollywood movies. Please. The truth is that even if you people lament from now to the next 10 years to come, it will not salvage the situation. Look at both of you, two grown-up brothers of mine, sounding so senseless and empty. I will slap your face, are you mad? Not wala. No, 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 I've been leaving you all this while. If you do one more nonsense, I will slap you. I mean, if not for the fact that you're married, for the respect I have for your husband, I will have beat you blue black. And look at mommy's situation. If not for that, you can't water here, Are you crazy or what? 
You can appear in my presence this minute. Wait, wait, Chuka. Just hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ada, please tell me at this point, what exactly do you think we can do? Come on. What did you say? Would you stop this drama and just tell us what we can Ask do? Ask me the question. I didn't hear you right. What can we do at this point? Oh! My own brother, the legal solicitor. How, how do you people actually say it? Leonard colleague, the one who knows all the rules and regulations. Asking me for what? For advice. Wow. This is nice. At least you have common sense. So you have sense and you still have a little conscience. Unlike some people that, that are just here sounding so empty. The truth is that I pity all of you because I want you. I want you people when you were making these plans. I begged you people not to bury our father's corpse here. But did you listen to me? No. Instead, you locked me up in a room and took away my phone so that I don't lift, lift a finger. If not for that one singular act, I would have made at least one or two phone calls to stop you people from committing this abominable act. Look at it. Just look at the outcome. Mother's late husband is haunting her. His spirit is everywhere, disturbing her. And this is the time you think you can actually hear from me. Well, you guys have made a mockery of my father's legacies. So you will remedy it by going to that cemetery where you buried him. Assume his body and take it to the village, his hometown, for a proper funeral. That is my take. Really? Ada, the thing is, uh, we're not even sure. But how it's not possible that the father's corpse or father's uh, spirit come up and start disturbing you more. I am going to ask you again, Mom. When are we going to the cemetery to assume that body as instructed by the king's men? Now, can you hear yourself? How is that possible? Your father has been buried. So can you let it be? What are you talking about? <gasps> I mean, what are you trying to say? We can't just be here and you are here ranting. We should go and exhume his body. At this time, come on. So if they call men to come out, you, you, you will just jump out. You're not even ashamed of yourself. I see you as less of a man. You're not ashamed of yourself. Like, your father is buried in another man's land. And here you are telling me what? Will you just shut up? Woman. Oh, is not in your position to talk about all this, okay? You relax and we will handle this, okay? Mom, let her understand that. Mom, when are we going to the cemetery to do the needful, Mom? If you ask me that question again, I'll beat you. Adam, I'm warning you. I will so beat you and take you back to your husband's house. Why are you behaving like this? Mom, wait, wait. Don't you know you're a young girl? Why are you acting like a boy? You will have to kill me first before I let you make a mess of my dad's corpse. That will be over my dead body. You want me to kill you? I will kill you. I'm the one that carried you in this womb. Don't push me, Ada. I will beat you, this girl. You better keep quiet. Mom, mom, wait, 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 hold on, Ada. Huh? Is this what you want? You want us to go to the cemetery and assume that body? Is that what you want? Mm, yes. It's fine, then. We'll do that for you, okay? Mom, let's go. Do that for who? So you have to call Chuka first though. I'll do that. I'll do that.
belonged to father. I am sorry. I am sorry for everything that has been done to you. I am sorry for the pain you went through, father. I am sorry I wasn't there to help. I am sorry I wasn't there to scream for help. Father, I am sorry. I am sorry to know everything when it was almost late. I am sorry, Father. I am genuinely sorry. For the restlessness we have caused you, I am sorry. I am sorry, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry, Father, please. I am begging you to please show us mercy. Forgive, Mother. Forgive my mom. Forgive your beloved wife, Father. Uh, sir, my name is Chuka. This is my younger brother, Obina. We are looking for Ichie Maduka. We were actually asking and they directed us that this is the place. We are late Chief Wilson's children from Lagos. Chief Wilson's sons? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they are looking for Ichie Maduka? Exactly, yes. sir. Are you not ashamed of yourself, both of you? You should be ashamed of yourself. You drove into my compound and opened your mouth to tell me that you are looking for Ichi Amadoka, your own uncle. Please, sir, we are very sorry. We were directed to see you. Sir, we... We didn't know. So sorry, sir. But I promise, we, we came to sort things out. You should be ashamed of yourself. Even though that your father is dead, how would you have uh, 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 come into my compound? Eh? I've told you, you, you have suddenly forgotten the, the, the route where you came from. See, there's nothing I can do for you right now. The Omunas are meeting tomorrow. You have to come to the Omunna. Whatever they say, that's where I stand. America is already around. You come to the Omunna eh? and discuss with them. Whatever Omunna decides is where I stand. Come on, get out of my house. Please, Look sir. at you, you're not ashamed of yourself. If you're at the moon. Sir? I, 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 you came to solve uh, your problem. I, I, know, I, I can never solve your problem. Come to the Monas meeting tomorrow. Whatever they decide is where I stand. You are not ashamed. You walked into my house asking me, eh, eh, Ichia, we are looking for Ichia Madagas, Ichia Madagas house. Even though your father is dead, how would you have come here? Even if you are in Lagos, you are not going to Lagos. Whatever I'm watching, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Give me my receipt. Why do I take care of the house? I want to get a service to you. I need money. Not this, not this. This is your job. Bonjour, don't break my gate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my children, Chus and Odinna. I heard all your stories. It's the same thing with the one Emeka told us. Uh, I want to make a point here. Here is Obi of Omona. Omona, you know. And I can never lie. Because if I do, I will die instantly. 
carry home to our most warriors. Eh? I want people to know that Emeka here is the first son of Chief Wilson. William. Wilson. 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 Uh -huh. Chief Wilson. Yes, Wilson. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. I want you to know that before any decision is taken in this family, he must be aware. Another thing, we the Omuna heard that you and your mother and our useless brother. Our useless brother, the money monger. That's our uh -huh. useless brother. Join hands together and bury our brother. They buried our, my, our brother, a whole chief Wilson. They buried him in Lagos. If we went and buried him without telling we the Omuna. Abomination. Yeah. Arrow. 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 Eh? I want to ask you. Numbers. Is that true? Apun. That is rubbish. Two car. Two car. You, you are keeping quiet. He has told him to come to death and Are you not the one the chairman is talking to? He can talk. The question. He can talk. Is that true or not? Um, the truth is that I... It is true, but his body has been exhumed and I've taken it to a nearby mortuary here in the village. Kuta <laughs> Akachifu. Chuka and Obinda, you should go and thank your God. Yes! Before seven days, you would have joined your father. The case well, you eh? know. Yes. But thank God. Uh, Emeka, please go and discuss with your brothers. Fix a date to bury your father. And get back to us, Omonna. Have I spoken your mind? Yeah. Okay, you will try to drop my About them, man. Yeah. For hour, for hour. I can't be. Jen, 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 you will not. I your work once again. I called you in the presence of a Ichio former to tell you my mind concerning what you told me some time ago. It's about the autopsy you said you want to carry to your father. Hmm? Your plans are good. Hmm? It's a welcomed idea, but I don't want you to do it. Uh -uh. Okay, why? Because your late father, Chief Wilson, is a prominent man uh, when he was alive. So, carrying autopsy or him is a way of uh, uh, disgracing him. That's why I'm saying it. So, I suggest you bury your father. If after which uh, uh, somebody that killed him, your father, I know, must fight the person bomba to bomba. He must make sure that he killed that person, whether man or woman. You see, uh, Mecca, my son, I want you to listen to what uh, Ichi Maduka has just advised you. You see, according to what the saying is, what an elder sitting down will see if you would, as a youth, climb the tallest Iroko tree, you still will not see it. So please, listen to him. I know your father very well. If his death is in the hand of anyone, definitely, he will pay that person in his or her own coin. Open. Um, it's okay, Uncle. It's okay. I've heard you. I'll sleep over it and tell you my mind. Better. 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 Better.
Um, Ameka. Uh, Chuka and Obina. We the king's men called you all here to know how far you have gone in the preparation of your late father's burial. Mm. So that we can know if there's anywhere we can come in. Uncle, nothing is really going well. But we're preparing. Just because Chuk and Obin are refusing to agree to what we are planning. Saying that they will not do anything until they, they tell their mother. So I don't know. I don't know what to do again. Um, you can the uh, Obina. You heard what the maker said. Is that true? Uh, uh, yes, Uncle. <clears throat> I don't know why it's sounding as if we're having problems. There's no problem. The only thing is that what he just said, we discussed with our mother. And we agreed exactly the same thing he said. I don't know why he's making it look as if we have issues. And then our mother said, if anything has to be changed, we will inform her. And so we will rightly do. If there's any changes, we'll have to tell her. Then whatever she decides, that we must do. Uncle, the thing is that we, 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 we have to give our father a befitting burial. I told them that our father is not a small man. He was a great man. Okay? So we need lots of things on ground. We need to buy cow, mount big, big tents, foods, drinks, a whole lot of things. Okay? But they are telling me that we will, they will only be concerned about food and drinks. But I refuse. I told them that our father needs to be given a befitting burial. That is a great man. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with them. Um... Chuka. Obina. I want to ask both of you a question. Are you aware that when your father was alive, he was an Obuefi? And that simply means that in his burial, you people must kill many cows, whether you like it or not. Well, uh, Marquis man, you all have heard uh, what the maker said and the, what this boy Chuka has said. I don't know if any of you have something to say. Of course, Ichi Maduka. At least, let me talk some sense into these twerps who call themselves Chukuk and Obina. And their useless mother. The truth is, your mother, is, has, she has no say in this matter because she's just a woman. And everything Emeka here has mentioned must be done. There's no two ways about it. And we will share everything amongst you people. And anyone who refused to provide his own will regret it. And that's fine now. Uncle, I will take it you call me a fool and Obina, no problem. But if you dare one more time and what refer to my mother as useless, I will disrespect you. You will Here not. Now. I will slap you down. Will you rather shut up? You will not. And I will not sit and watch you disrespect my uncle and the presence shut of up. anyone. Shut up. Are you mad? Do you realize this is our father's burial we're talking about here? Have you gone bonkers or what? Mm. You? I swear. So so how dare you? Wait. Ah. Uh, uh, please, listen. Uh, Chuka and uh, Obin, we will share everything in this meeting amongst the children of late Chief Wilson. And we are giving you people just one week to provide the needful. Else, you will regret being members of Ubaka family. Hey, 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 hey uncle, it, uncle, uncle, don't, don't tell us that. Don't tell me that. No. Do you realize I'm a lawyer? You can't be here threatening us like that. If you do that, I will unleash my anger on you. What will you do? If he threatens you, what will you do? Do you realize you're talking to the eldest man of our Umunna? In Apuala? Or get in a member? Um, Uncle. Uncle, please, I am sorry. 
On their behalf, I plead that you pardon their misconduct. Please do forgive them. I was actually about to add to the things you said before, they int before he interrupted me. I am begging you, our kinsmen, my father's kinsmen, to please not allow my siblings make a mess of my father's legacies, the legacies he built over the years. Please, don't let that happen. The truth is that our mother, my mother is the real problem we're having here. She's the biggest problem. She tells these grown ass men what to do. Adam, I'm a, I'm a mama ganya. I will slap it. If you have uncle, I will slap this girl. Don't dare that! What is this? What do you mean? Shut up! What do you mean? What do you mean? Stop that! What do you mean? 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 What do Again. Can you leave this bag for me? Remember, you're my last child. Why are you acting like this? We've just buried your father. We've led him to rest. What else do you want to stay in the village to do? Let's go back to Lagos. We're going to miss our four o'clock flight. Let's go! Mommy, how can you be talking like this? What is this, Mommy? They just buried my father. What is this? Where are you going to? There is no fair. Aren't you supposed to be here to be mourning him? What is this? Why are you people going back so soon? It's not fair. Have we not mourned your father enough? He's dead. And we've led him to rest. What else do you want me to do? Wait, wait, come on. What is happening here? Ah! Dad is buried. Isn't it? He's buried. And we, we are going back to the city. What are we doing in this? Oh, can you hear what they're saying? Village? Just listen to what they're saying. Wait. Wait. wait don't tell me you people are going back to Lagos. Exactly. It's your red. I saw you eating large bowl of rice, drinking beer. You're even happy that my husband is dead. So keep quiet. We are going back to Lagos. Remain here and finish the rest food. Let's go. Wait, if you step out of this, I will use this stick and, 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 and hit your head. Before me? Oh, oh, shut up. We are going back to Lagos. Your husband has just buried it. Four hours ago, and then you are going back to Lagos with your children. If you step out of this, if you step out of out, out of this compound, you will see what I will do to you. What will you do? What will I do? Oh, you What will you do? You are asking me, Chen Doka, Madoka. What will I do? If you cry again, I will hit you inside your father's grave. Since you look like him, Mom, let's, let's go. go. We are losing our flight. We are I losing cannot it. leave you here. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Did you just hit my son? That's it. Mazi. Did you I, hit my I, son? Mazi! Mazi, I'm asking you! You are holding my staff. Why will I not hold your staff? You are staff? holding my staff. Why will you hit my son that head? Okay. How dare you? No I don't let them go. Move, move, move. I let them go. Go with them. Go with them. I cannot leave my daughter. Mommy, leave me. I cannot leave her. Mommy, I can't leave you. Uh -huh. Emeka, yeah, Emeka, how are you? I hope you're okay. Uh, yeah, no problem, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, Emeka, listen to me, I want to tell you something. Uh, this is one year and some weeks since your father, late Chief Wilson, died and buried. And uh, I believe this is the right time to do the needful. Hmm? This is the right time to share your father's property, you and the uh, Chris's children. Tell Nanyalo and the decent to go to Christie and have a meeting with, with, with the Christie and her children. That they should tell her that I said they should prepare for the shine of your father's, your late father's property. So that you take your own share, Chuk and uh, his brothers will take their own share. Uh, no, no, so do what I ask you to do. Yes, yes. 
Yeah, once you've done that, you let me know. Hmm? It's okay, it's okay, that's no problem. I'm no problem. I'm with you. Just do what I ask you to do. Yes. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 is fine. You know, she just went out. It's okay, no problem. One, let me say. And then we check it. One, bye bye. I mean, who called for this meeting? I did, Christy. You called a meeting in my house without telling me first. I mean, what is that supposed to mean? That was why I expected you to say, instead of you asking questions. Anyways, uh, the order of this meeting was from the village, ordering me to tell you that it is time we share our brother let Chief Wilson's properties amongst his children. I mean, since it's one year that he died and was buried. So, that's why I gathered everyone here so we can discuss and uh, know the way forward. <laughs> Vincent, you should know that what you just said now is impossible. My late husband did not Leave any will before he died. By the way, which people are you referring as my husband's children? Because as far as I'm concerned, this person here is not my husband's biological son. Emeka. Mom, please. I beg you in the name of God to stop. Stop it. We all can bear witness to the day that father brought in brother Emeka here and introduced him to us as his legitimate. I quote that, he said, my legitimate son. So what exactly are you talking about? Ada, you see me you're talking to in such manner? Have you gone nuts? Mommy, you can tell me whatever it is that you want. Call me all manner of names, but I will appreciate it if you don't insult Brother Emeka further. Or better still, apologize to him. Ada, what is wrong with you? Are you crazy? I mean, if not for the fact that you have petty illness, I will have dealt with you severely. What is wrong with you? If you don't desist from insulting mom, you wouldn't like what I will do to you. I promise you. Mom! It's okay, uh, Ada. Christy, you opened your mouth to say that my late brother, Wilson, did not write any will, and that the maker here is not his son? You, Christy? Now, Vincent, you are the one encouraging my daughter to insult me. I'm telling you to your face. My late husband did not prepare his will before he met his death. What are you going to do about it? Oh. I'm going to tell you this! You are pushy. So what will you do? Hey! My husband didn't prepare any will before he died. Now what are you going to do about it? You lie! Tear me into two! Christy! I am telling you, if you have the power, then tear me into two before you get the will. Christy, Else, do not my brother, her. my brother, my brother, listen. That will, you no go see him. Christy, do not dare me! Uncle All right. sent this right. And Uncle Maduka called from the village and told me that he has ordered him on what to do. Yes. Who just spoke now? Is it you? Look, he's talking, acting like a headmaster special class. You better keep quiet. Mommy, please. Hey, Stop, you heard him. Hey, shh. One more word from you. I will flog you belt for you to realize that I'm the one that gave back to you. Nothing from you again. Then I'll deal with you. Now for your information, woman. My late brother, Chief Wilson, confided in me when he was alive about his will. And Emeka here is his son, his first son. Emeka, 
Do you know your late father's lawyer's office? Please, go there and inform him that it is time to read your late father's will. Uh, Obena, Chuka, Ada, Uncle. you people will have to go and come back in two weeks' time. Yes, Uncle. For the reading of your late father's will. Uncle Vincent, you heard what my mom said. There is no will. My late father did not leave any will behind. So what are we all here discussing? I mean, what is this meeting all about? I cannot share my father's property with a stranger. It's not possible. And who are you referring to as a stranger? I am asking you. Your elder brother, stranger? Have you gone mad? What is going on here? Mr. Wilson is my father. I cannot sit back here, pretend like nothing is happening. I've been watching you insult my mom, pointing fingers at her. And I also watched you insult my younger brother, calling him mad. And I can't sit and watch as if nothing is happening. Now it's time for you to leave my father's property. What? Get out! Get out! What are you doing? Get out! 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 I really don't understand clearly what you're saying. What I'm saying is, I know you are my husband's lawyer. Are you not my late husband's lawyer? Yes, of, of course. course. And I'm sure you're the one who prepared the wheel for him. And I'm sure you've got some copies left with you. Your late husband collected it from me and he said he needed to do some corrections. Ever since then, he didn't bring it before he died. All right, even at that barrister, I'm sure you've got some copies in your system. Madam, what do you want? Oh, what a smart question. Of course, you're a barrister. You should be smart. Mm -hmm. Now, I need a help from you. Please. There's this buffoon that parades himself as my late husband's first son. His name is Omega. I'm sure that idiot is coming to your office to request for his late father's will. Please, on no account should you release that will to Omega. The copies of the will you gave to my late husband is in my custody. Believe me, I'm not going to release it to them. Um... But your late husband told me that the boy in question is his son. And he also said that if anything should happen to him today, that the boy will take over his properties. Even he has changed the business document to the boy's name. So I don't know what you are asking for now. It's too late. There's nothing I can do. Can you hear yourself? There is nothing you can do. An ordinary charge and bell lawyer like you. Madam, don't don't insult me. Oh, that calm down. What's that? My friend, relax. I know you need money. Hey. I don't mean to insult you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to offer you the sum of 200 million naira. You need it. Madam, 500 million or no deal. I mean, do you know what you are asking of? Your husband has a lot of properties, what trillions. And you're, you're here talking about 200 million. 500 million or no deal. Can you imagine 500 million or no deal? Have you seen such an amount before in your life? Madam, don't insult oh, God, my see. person. Oh, just shut it. All right, relax. Let me step up a bit. Let me give you the sum of 300 million naira, please. Just manage it now. Madam, you and I know what you are fighting for. 500 million or no deal. I've heard you. I'll give it to you. All right. All right. I have accepted. Now, how is it going to be like? Simple. I'm going to send my account details across. Then let's start from there. I know exactly what to do. Your lordship, 
Like I said, my late husband's son, that useless son of his, wants to take everything from me. He sued me to God. Of course, he wants to reap what he didn't sow. He wants to take over all that my husband and I labored for. But I will never let him. Yes, your lordship. Yes, so that's the reason I'm calling you to let you know that the case will be coming up on Monday. Do me a favor. I would like you to sit on that case for me. I just want to negotiate with you, your lordship. No, 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 no. Your lordship, please. I will give you the sum of 50 million Naira. Yes, your lordship. That's super nice. How do you want it? By cash or transfer? Thank you, your lordship. Stupid boy. Uh, come on now. Uh, I called for this meeting. But can I say now, I can say now, I will never do it. Um, America, I ask you to call your brothers, including uh, Vicente and Nanyo. To tell them that it is time to share your father's properties. But ever since then, I have not had anything. Until recently, I have begun to hear one kind of nonsense story or the other, which I do not like. Uh, now, I want you to tell us exactly what happened. Okay. My uncles are great here. No, I did exactly what Uncle Madoka asked me to do. But nothing good comes out from it. Nothing good at all. Uncle Unayolugo and Uncle Vincent here can bear me witness. Chukuka's mother here was calling me a stranger in my father's house. And her son joined her, supported her in calling me a stranger in my father's house. Then we concluded that we we're going to meet in two weeks' time just to share our father's property. Then myself and Uncle Vicent went to meet with the lawyer to collect the will from the lawyer. The lawyer told us that my father did not write any will. After then, I took it to court. And I noticed that Auntie Chrissy here has actually bought the lawyer and the judges over with billions of naira. I was standing still. I was shocked. I then now realized that she actually sold all of father's property and transferred the billions of naira into her own personal account. Yeah. That is what is happening now. And In fact, I became so confused at some point because Christy here and her children blocked everywhere with millions of naira. I mean, the money her late brother left behind. So we need to do something fast before things get out of hand. Your problem. Yes. Uh, do you have anything to say? Oh, yes. I have something to say. Christy, our wife, I want to tell you and your children something that you do not understand. In the Igbo culture, it is stipulated there that your late husband's property, both the money 
the companies, just name it, must be shared into two equal parts. One part should be given to a maker who's in a different gate. Then the other part goes to Chuka and his siblings, which he will share among his siblings later. Look, let me tell you, will or no will, court or no court, if you like, bribe the world court. It will not be water binded because the evil culture must come to stay. Yes, he yes, cheerful man. Thank you so much. Indeed, it's your father that gave birth to you. Keep quiet. His father gave birth to who? What? Ichi, now you listen to me. Whether you're putting on a red cap, blue cap, black cap, I don't care. Now you are talking trash. Over my dead body will I allow. That's moron here. Big fool. Good for nothing, God forsaken fellow. So share my late husband's property with my children. Are they men now? So chill. Christy, who is pounding yam for you and said there's no problem with soup? You. Eh? You, Christy? Sugar. Obina. I want you to talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Because this music she's about to play. When the time comes, she cannot be able to dance it. You lie. I'm a very good dancer. Any type of music that comes from it, believe me, whether it's reggae, hip hop, whatever you call it, surugade, I will dance it to a perfect finish. What the heck is wrong with you? Ah. Okay, you better keep quiet, oh. I'm telling you. There is nothing to warn my mother about. Oh. There is absolutely nothing to warn her about. Mm -hmm. She's only but saying the truth. The only thing you need to tell this baby grown man here to retreat his tail and stop trading where he cannot stand. I mean, he should just park well, oh. make him park well. If not, Yawa go gas. <laughs> I'm telling you the fact. Oh. And you. You know, I've always warned you to stop pointing at my mom. You won't stop. Mm. May you give one day. You quit an honor me. Okay. May you give one Mwah. day. You quit an honor me. Chuka. Chukuka. Chuka. <laughs> Chuka. You better be careful. You better be careful and reason with the way the elders. Because this is tradition. We are talking about the tradition. Chuka. <laughs> it's all right. We shall see. We shall see what? <laughs> we shall see what? You suddenly forget that I'm a lawyer, ah. a solicitor. Okay. I put it to you that we will see nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Yes. They don't know. Mm -hmm. You put it to us. Mm -hmm. Yes. We shall see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After hearing from what everybody here has said, I am going to judge this matter according to the traditions of Igbo land. And what I will judge here today is based on the judgment of our kinsmen and your villager. Now, in accordance with our tradition, this is my judgment. All the properties of late Chief Wilson, the money in the bank, his estates, and his companies shall be shared into two equal parts. A maker here takes one part, while Chuka takes the other part and shares it amongst his siblings. As I have spoken, so shall it be. And I know this is my judgment. You had it. Next time you open your dish, your nonsense mouth and call a maker a stranger. It will banish you. Or banish you. Emma. Or put it in a shaky sand and more hand. Or can you call the baby lawyer? How I wish he's here. Go with the piano. Or the boat to die in love. Emma, you're welcome. Thank you. You said you are not fine. What is the problem? Uncle, I am not fine at all. For over four months now, the ego told us what to do. But Chrissy and her children are not, are not cooperating at all. 
Hmm? She has used money to cover everywhere. What are we going to do? I think you're right. We have given Kisi and her children enough time to reason. But they refuse to cooperate. They locked up their hearts. I think this is the time I will teach them a lesson they will never forget. Uncle, how do we do that? You know, Chrissy is very evil and diabolic. How do we do it? Now, let me tell you. The only language Chrissy and her children will not like to hear is Arosin. And that is exactly what I am going to do. I will go and meet the, uh, the chief police of Okumiri and report this whole matter. And after which, chief police will know what to do. Okay. Do you think ROC going to ROC or Chief or whatever will solve this problem? What of the properties Christy has sold already and the money which she has transferred into her personal account? How are we going to do it? If we're in our model, hmm? You see those houses Christy and her children sold mm -hmm. must be recovered back. And those money you see pulled from your father's account to her own private account will be recovered within two days. Uncle, are you sure? Haha, you are that's all mine. Once the matter goes to the optimist, right? The matter is settled. No one is terrible, though. No one. You are directed to appear before the Okamiri Shrine. Okamiri Shrine! What? I should appear there? No, never. Never. I will claim that I was ordained an evangelist last week, yes. I was a dang evangelist, stupid. I appear in Okomiri Shrine within seven days to prove your innocence on the allegation leveled against you by Mr. Mecca Obaka. Mm. So this boy, eh? He reported me. Mm. Failure to do so. Okumiri deity will rise against you. Never. It will not rise against me. I do not know Okumiri. I am an evangelist now. Why? Who in the world dropped this letter here? My goodness. What is going on? I'm sure he's Aban. Abano. It must be that idiot. Abanu! Abanu! Aban! Aban! Yes, madam. Now, what has come over you? Someone came here with a letter looking for me, and you did not even bother to notify me. You collected the letter as the chairman of my house, right? Madam. Letter qua. No, madam. Which letter, madam? Are you insane? You are asking me which letter. I'm talking about this letter. Were you not the one who collected this letter and kept it on top of my table in the parlor? And you're asking me which letter? Madam. I'm asking you! Madam. I swear with Almighty God, Madam. Letter, I no see. Since morning, I did this house. And the gate, I me lock him. I lock him well, well, Madam. Nobody don't enter this house, Madam. You didn't call it this letter? No, ma. Okay, ma. 
commit crime qui s'y as. Now what is this? What kind of mystery is this? Hello, Chukuka. Now you listen to me. I want you to leave whatever thing you're doing there right now. Come home with your brother Obina immediately. Leave whatever thing you're doing and you're asking me stupid questions. I want to see you and your brother right now. Mom, mom, so now, when exactly are we going back to the village? I mean, what do we do now? I beg your pardon, Obina. Are you asking me such question? God forbid. Never. Never will I answer such call to who? Or could deity. That would be over my dead body. And let me warn you, don't you ever say anything like that again. They won't do me anything. That's because I do not know Okumili, and Okumili doesn't know me. Thank goodness your father is dead. You people are not going back to that evil village again. They don't know you. You people don't know them that much. Very fine. And my happiness is that your late father left something huge that will last lifetime for you boys. So don't you ever talk like that again, Obina. Stop it. Obina, are you even crazy? Are you crazy? Why would you say a thing like that to mom? Go where? Go to that village? Just because a maker reported her to that deity? Are you mad? Kumiri, my foot. Better fix your mindset up. Mommy. Good to see you, Mom. Good to see you. Mm -hmm, darling, how wow. are you? Ah, Mom, I've come again. You remember? Obina, please now. Please, can you leave that topic? Mom, you need to understand something. That left trillions of naira for us. We need to enjoy this money. We need to spend it. Come on. So what you want me to do now is to give you money a Range Rover. Autobiography, to be precise. Uh-uh. That guy is too big for you, my son. Please. Please, you're too young for that car. I do not want kidnappers to come after you. Oh, Mom, come on. Kidnappers? Mom, I'm a full-grown man. What are you talking about? A full-grown man, right? The one that runs at the sound of ordinary knockouts. How much more gone? I mean, we could keep quiet. Mom, Say another thing. I am equal to the tax. I'm a full grown adult. Just give me this car and I'll be fine. I promise you. So what you want me to do now is to give you 150 million naira. Exactly. Why don't you use it? You know, instead of something new, invest it. Instead of this cheap. Mom. All right, fine. Don't I've heard worry. you. I know go. I will think about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. There is food in the kitchen in case you're hungry. It's okay, mom. Thank you so All much. All right, darling. I appreciate it. All right. Ah! 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 Mom! No! Ah! Mom! Ah! What is it? What is it? Ah! What is it? Ah! Mom, stop! Stop! Ah! Stop! Ah! Oh my god! Please, please, please! please. Please, please, oh. come, come, come. Chuka, what happened to your mother? Uh, yes, my elders. 
A few weeks ago, my mother came to the sitting room and saw a letter. And she opened it and it reads that she's been invited by a Mecca here to Okomiri's shrine. She refuted, she said she wasn't going because she doesn't believe in it. And then I, I, I stood my ground. I vehemently stood beside her and agreed that I wouldn't allow her go. Yesterday, she was, she was talking with Obina and something strange struck her. She, she was very devastated and not up to, I decided to take her to the hospital. We went to different hospitals, we ran different tests, but they didn't see anything. Some came out, the results came out, nothing. While some, they asked us to come back for the results. She got fed up and asked me to take her to the village and invite the elders. So that's why we came down to this village. And then I invited the elders because she told me, she confided in me that she, she has a confession to make. My elders, that's why I called you all. Please, if there's a way you can help her, please help her situation. So, Chuka, you mean a messenger of Okumiri sent her a letter of uh, uh, invitation to come and answer for her, uh, her case? Yes, my She lady. refused. Yes, now the case is, the, the matter is worse. She decided to do that. Well, I don't know about Okomiri's messenger, but I, I know she saw a letter. Maybe she can explain why she asked me to summon the elders. You said she has a confession to make? Yes, uncle. Ungali Chris, what's that here? Confess? Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, I suggest whatever confession she has to make. Let us take her to our community. Yes, I support him. Um, it's your form. Uh, I think you are right. But let's allow her to confess first. Eh? Then we can send the Mecca to go to our community and, and bring out the case. Eh? I think Ichi Maduka is right. Let's listen to her and see if it is something they can handle here. Yes. Confess. I Mom, mom, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I, I deceived my children. I told them. I told. I, I, I told them that. Emeka. Emeka. Emeka isn't their, their brother. Mommy. But truly speaking. Emeka is your brother. Mommy, your what? father's biological son. Mommy, what Emeka. Are you Mommy. 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 So you've been deceiving us. Mommy, I'm mean? really so disappointed in you, Mom. You've been lying to us that Emeka is not my brother. Mommy, I can't believe this. Mom. Mom, I, why would you do this to us? I, I don't get it. What do you mean, Emeka is not our brother? Can you people hear it now? I begged you people to listen to Father, but you refused. Just look at you just look at this whole thing now. What is all this? Mommy. Mommy what? It was great. <coughs> sorry, sorry, Mom. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Mom. I wanted to do. I wanted to take everything that my husband has all to myself. That led me into giving my husband had chemical drugs all the time in his food and it led to his death. What? I said it. <laughs> I said it. Mom, you 
are you trying to say that you killed my father? <laughs> Our father? Your husband? Is that what you're trying to say, Mom? Mommy, yes. why? Mommy, why? I'm sorry. Mommy, why? What did Daddy ever do to you? Why, Mommy? Why did you have to kill him? Why? <laughs> he didn't do anything. What's just being wicked? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom, it's okay. Let her go, let her go. The soul that sinned must die. People err and you forgive them. Why don't you just forgive her? Chuka, Chuka, uh, mommy, Chuka. mommy, Chuka, please, please, yes. please. I want you to return everything that is in a joint account. Please, all the properties were sold. I want you to return them. To return them to. To Emeka. Please, Emeka, forgive me. Forgive me, Emeka. He's a wonderful son. Let's go to the Okomiri. Let her dance to the music. Which music? She has danced enough now. Let's go to the Okomiri. Please just go there. Let's go there. Mommy. 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 I need you. I need you. Mommy, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. I'm here. Return the properties. Please. Don't see Emeka. Emeka is here. Emeka is here, Mom. I forgive you now. It's okay. No. Mommy, I forgive please. you now. No. Mommy, please. No, 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 don't. It's okay. Don't forgive me. I dealt with you. It's Mommy, okay. Please, I'm sorry. Adam, I'm sorry, my dear. I forgive you. It's okay, Mom. No, 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 more, please. She's an evil woman, ready to fight anybody that crosses her lane. She's an evil woman, she's ready to fight, ready to fight. Mama, why is your heart full of wickedness? Mama. I want to say I'm very sorry for all that has happened. I'm not blaming my mom. I'm not going to know where the kids are. She's not wicked. It's just the love of a mother to the kids. Even though she acted wrongly. But if she had if she had seen someone who will eventually put her right the right direction without letting her generate this animosity and hatred for you and making us also follow suit in her path in hating you all this wouldn't have been a problem but please find a place in your heart to forgive us forgive her all right she she it's insecurity. But now we understand better. Komaduka, please. Emeka, we are so sorry. Very, very sorry. Please forgive us. Yes, brother. Sincerely speaking, we are really, really so sorry. We're sorry. Who could have believed that our mom killed our father? No one could have ever believed that. You understand? You stand in gap of our father now. And having you as an elder brother, it's so amazing to us. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive us. Please, brother. Please. Well, I've had the good of you. Okay. The bar say you should have the bar more the bar the more. Now boy, you that Torah, what to do? Hmm? I've heard the both of you. Omega, you had your brothers, and uh, I suggest you listen to them. No matter what, they are still your brothers. One other, which I could hear, which I. 
even if you even if whatever that happens from now till next thing is that's still your brothers i think what we should be thinking about now is how to share your father's uh, properties yeah? like they rightly said it wasn't their fault it was because of their mother yeah? i think what we should be thinking about now is how to share your father's property and then how to recover the buildings the properties she jointly sold with the choker. And also the money she pulled from your father's account to her account. How to recover the money? Uncle, about that, I I have a joint account with my mom. And as a matter of fact, the deal states that if she's no more, or if I'm no more, the other party can access the account. So I have every access to the account. Uh -huh. Yes. And so you can sign your signature and the money will be pulled out. Exactly, Uncle. Okay. And the other part for her own personal account, where she pulled all the money into, I am a signature also because I am her next of kin. So, I am the uh, Yes. Uh, for the documents of the properties, uh, when selling the house, I think I was skeptical about the documents, so I, I kept the original documents. So it's still with me. All I need to do is call the lawyers so they can give me the original papers. Then we retrieve the houses back, that's all. And then I can hand it to my brother here, Nika, so we can do what I want. Oh, yeah, the case is closed. You had him. The case is closed. <laughs> anyway, the thing there is this. You see these two guys, okay? I like on these two guys. I'm a mo. I'm a mo. My thing, oh, that is easy. Can I put you can call the cast up on? Oh no, I knew him. We are poor for me, see. No, I knew him. It's in the chamber. It's okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I've forgiven them. I've, I'm, 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 I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I've forgiven you guys. Okay, yeah. from my heart. Yeah. I know you weren't doing that with your clear eye. I actually, know that your mother mm -hmm. pushed you into all that. You know, but it's okay. I'm happy now that we're back and happy. Yes. You know, we we'll start living as one happy family, big family. Okay? I'm forgiving you guys. It's okay. Come here. You know, what could I put You know, you know what? Good. It's good to see you again. You know what? Good. I like him this <laughs> Magnus! Um, Daddy, we're here. Who's having this? What are we doing here? Okay, I just want to say thank you for everything. You've been a wonderful father. You've been a good father to me all these years. You know, I will never regret having you as my father, even though I've Finally, see my biological father, but I'll still call you dad from my heart, and that is who you remain to me. Okay. Um, this house is your house. My wife and I just want to use here and say thank you for everything. My house? Yes. I mean, I mean this big house for me? Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, my son. Thank you, thank you, my son. Okay. Okay. Deserve... This is too big now. No, it's okay, you're big. You're big. You deserve more than this. Okay, you're, you're a nice man. God bless you. Ah, it's...